Hi everybody, welcome back. This is an update on my breast lift results. So it's been about nine months since I've had the surgery and I just wanted to tell you guys everything that I've been going through and how my progress is pro progressing. <laughs> so if you are interested in that, please keep watching. Okay, so it's been nine months since I've had my surgery. Everything has been going pretty well. Um, if you have seen my results on my previous videos or on Real Self, you'll know that I had pretty good scarring compared to some other people that I've seen on there and that you may have seen on there. So I kind of took this relaxed approach to my healing process. Big mistake, okay? <laughs> let me just say that once you start your healing process and you start applying your scar creams and scar gels or whatever it is that you're using silicone sheets you need to be consistent that is the main thing you have to do it every single day or try to at least do it every single day for me I don't know about any of you but I'm just one of those people I'm like oh it looks good like you know so it's just gonna look good and I'll get relaxed on my routine I'm like I'm like that with skincare sometimes and I only really like really focus on my face when I'm breaking out or something like that um, and I need to not be like that because prevention is key so once I started to ease up on treating myself or applying all the creams that I should be applying I started to notice that my vertical line down here that goes down it was starting to become way darker and I think that it is a part of the natural healing process once I googled it and I talked to my doctor it kind of goes from you know the scar to like pink or just kind of white and then it gets darker and before it gets better the the time period that these treatments are most effective is within the first year so since i'm within that first year i am trying to kick things back into high gear um, so i was experiencing one particular problem and i have some vlog footage of that that i'll insert here all right you guys so i just got out the shower um and I'm about to go to my follow-up appointment. This is not necessary to do, but as you probably know from the title of this video, I am having an issue with the scarring um, from my surgery, unfortunately. For now, I'll just show you guys what the problem is and what it looks like and what I'll be doing to have it treated. Okay, so. Here I am, and I wanted to show you something. So, see how you can see the entire nipple? Okay, that's the problem that I'm experiencing. Oh, the tripod shifted. That's the problem that I am trying to address. So, around the nipple, the incision that they made, it's getting raised a little bit, and um, I'm afraid of a permanent like keloid type of situation. Looks wise, it doesn't really look that different with the clothes off, but normally when you wear a shirt like this, you can probably see your actual like nipple, center nipple thing po pointing out, whatever that part is called. This actual center nipple you'll be able to see, but I feel, you know, you shouldn't be able to see the entire, ooh, it keeps falling, sorry guys. You shouldn't be able to see the entire round part. So that's what I'm trying to get addressed, and that's what will be injected today. So I will let you guys know how that works out for me. If you are doing this, have already done it, considering it, please be consistent with treating your scars postoperatively. Also, be consistent with wearing a bra for, I want to say, for the first year because it will adversely affect, affect your results um for me i don't have implants so my breast pretty set, settled in pretty good um if i stand up i can show you so they still kind of like they don't have that upper fullness but to me i mean i think they look great and i've always had larger breasts so i kept my breast size 
but you know now my nipples are up here and it's just more full so yeah I love the way that they settled in I would not change a thing but anyway back to the issues at hand if you guys see me looking down I am looking at my laptop just to give you accurate information straight from the sources my problem that I was having was that the area around my nipples, just basically like the edge of my areola, the edge part, was starting to look a little bit raised and I was worried it was because I've become so lax on my healing routine. So I contacted my surgeon, well my surgeon's coordinator, she's fabulous, her name is Misty and she recommended that I see Dr. Richards because they provide a complimentary service called Kinelog injection. Okay, so basically the Kinelog injection is an anti-inflammatory injection that can be used to improve the appearance of raised scars, including injury scars, surgical scars, hypertrophic scars, and keloids. Okay, so I was like, okay, what is the difference between a hypertrophic, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, hypertroph, hypertrophic, <laughs> hypertrophic scars. What's the difference between a hypertrophic scar and a keloid scar? Hypertrophic scars and keloid scars are raised, two types of like raised abnormal scars. However, hypertrophic scars grow within the borders of the original wound as where keloid scars, um, they can grow larger and beyond the boundaries of the original wound. So they're similar and most of us would probably call a hypertrophic scar a keloid scar because it's a raised scar, um, but it's not going to develop into anything like larger than the, the original scar itself like I don't know if you've seen some people with the earrings like when they get a keloid scar on their ear it becomes like it looks like a little mushroom or something I don't know if you've seen that I've seen it before and people have had to get it removed so that is a keloid scar a hypertrophic scar is just going to be like the the wound but raised up either way it's not really a desirable result so I wanted to go ahead and get that looked at and fixed so I booked a trip to Las Vegas and saw my surgeon and he was able to inject that scar area with Kenalog. If you want to research it, go ahead and do it. It's K-E-N-A-L-O-G. So do your research and see if that's something that you may want to consider if you are having these types of side effects after your surgery or if it's a potential thing that you might want to consider if you are thinking about having this done. Just a little bit about my experience getting the injections. Dr. Richard saw me in between surgeries, so you do have to schedule it around his, um, you know, office hours. So he came in there, you know, he told me that everything looks great and it's healing great. Um, he told me these are classified as hypertrophic scars, not keloid scars. And he went ahead and started setting up the injection or the syringe. So pain level. Um, I didn't think it was that painful. The, the needle itself, I could feel that and that was uncomfortable and it did hurt a little bit. But as far as the solution, like it didn't sting or anything like that. It just was uncomfortable. And it was this tiny skinny needle. I would imagine that it is a similar needle to Botox. I've never gotten Botox, but for some reason I just would imagine that it's a really skinny needle. I've seen it on TV. I'm not opposed to Botox, but I just haven't had it yet. So you go in, you see Dr. Richards, he lays you down on the table. Um, you just undress from the waist up and he takes a look and he injects the actual scar. So it goes in through the raised part and injects, and then through another part and injects. It's not just one injection. It's, <clears throat> sorry guys, it's as many injections as you need around the area. So I don't know, it probably was about four or five times for each nipple. So just like all around, everywhere that he saw it was raised. 
okay how effective is it up to 80 percent i mean it said 60 to 80 percent of people saw improvement once they've gotten a kinolog injection so although the complete results can take up to two almost two months you can see results starting within the first few weeks so at the time this video has been recorded it's been about three weeks since i've had the shots and this nipple is almost completely flat this one is taking a lot longer um the bottom part has flattened out but i can still see the raised scars on the other parts of it so maybe within the next two weeks it'll be flat also i'm going to ask if there is a limit on how many times you can do this maybe if i wait another month or two just to see if there's any delayed results but if not then maybe i can get another round um, it is complimentary as of the day that i'm recording this so that's good to know let me know if you have any questions that i can maybe ask my patient care coordinator or dr richards i wanted to do another video where i am basically acting as a new patient and contacting their office and asking them all the questions that you guys want to know um, as far as consultation pricing and things like that so if you can leave questions that you guys would like me to ask in that video in the comments section I will gather them and ask so there are other things that I would like to know myself like um, I've heard about Hydronique, which is like a bleaching cream, but I just want to be really careful about everything that I put on my breast, um, which is why I did my research on the catalog and I decided to go ahead and do that. Do your own research, please. I'm not a physician or a doctor or providing any type of medical advice, but um, I just want to make sure that I'm really careful about what I'm doing here. So yeah. I want to ask my doctor about any of the risks or harms for um, bleaching creams to lighten the scar and also I would like to know what the difference is between scar cream silicone cream and silicone gel because Dr. Richard's office recommends the silicone gel and I've been using the silicone cream um, I use the silicone gel and I did see some results with that but I've seen results with both and I'm not sure which one was causing my um, nipple skin <laughs> to raise or if that's just something that was going to happen anyway. So these are questions that I have for Dr. Richards that I'm going to ask him. And I would like you guys to let me know any other questions that you have um, as far as preliminary questions before you get the surgery or if you've had your surgery and you have any questions um that maybe your doctor didn't answer i don't know ask your doctor actually but if you would like me to ask dr richards i can ask him <laughs> and um i think that i'm only gonna post a few more videos in this series i just want to thank you guys so much for your support on all of my videos and i would like to continue to make youtube videos right now i'm focused on trying to lose a few pounds that's actually one thing that i did ask dr richards and you're allowed to lose i believe up to 10 percent of your body fat or your body weight i'll have to double check that without affecting your results because you know why have this done if i'm not 100 percent satisfied with the rest of my body <laughs> so i will let you guys know what i'm doing and um show you guys my results with that soon so i'll probably do another youtube short wearing the same shirt that i was wearing in my you know my, my vlog part of the video to show you the results before and after maybe i'll put a side by side my, like uh maybe i'll do a side by side so that you guys can see the difference so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you well you'll see me in my next video